Try and I fly from Colorado Springs Airport Designation KC O S or Kilo. Colorado Springs Tower Beechcraft Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra Kilo at runway tree Fife Right ready for departure straight out departure. Beechcraft Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra Kilo altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 7 wind 302 at 8. Departing straight out approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 35 right. So we're going to be doing 35 right uh, northbound right Beechcraft Golf Sierra Kilo. Most likely they're going to give us a right hand turn. We could go either way. Left hand turn would be good though. Because then we can see the mountains and things. We'll see what happens. The thing with a night flight is um, it is easier to find the airport. Um, you just got to rely on this notation. The way your readings are, um, where you take off, you want to note what your elevation is um, on the end of the runway. And you just want to make the approach to that ending uh, elevation to be, you know, the ground um, elevation. So let's take a look at that real quick. So we're, um, we're at 61, 6145 ish. So 6,145 feet. Um, so. I don't know why autopilot's engaged. Oral warning, okay. That's a master switch, you gotta hit that to get that beeping out of your way. So, um. Yeah, the navigation in this aircraft is pretty nice, um, so we're going to go ahead and just get, disengage, uh, park and brake, go ahead and throttle up. So I'm not going to even check the, the, to make sure it's locked. So we can see that there's the, the, the light on top of Pikes Peak, which is the the tourist Colorado Springs Tower the, Beechcraft the Alpha Sierra right X-ray Golf there. Sierra Kilo, 6,900 feet to land. Beechcraft Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Kilo Colorado Springs Tower. Altimeter 29 or decimal minor 7 wind 302 at 8. Make left downwind runway 35 right. So they want us to do a left hand turn, which is nice because we Enter get to left see. downwind runway tree, Fife right Beechcraft Golf Sierra Kilo. We get to see the lights in Colorado Springs. Just gonna cross over powers here. Let's say we're lined up with probably galley. Yeah, that's gonna be galley. Um, is it Avenue Galley Boulevard? I can't remember what it is. So. Um, spec in the middle of the windscreen. That's the. The very tip of Pikes Peak. That's the the tourist center up there with the lights on it. Too bad there's not enough. There's not a whole lot of moonlight. You could actually see the mountain range illuminated. So 
Field in the Skies, uh, security wide field area. Deerfield Hills and everybody that went to Sierra High School or Whitefield kind of know where I'm at. That's what that's off the left wing there. nose down and reduce throttle. So if you look at the um, instrumentation right in front of me, it actually does uh, pick up Pikes Peak right there um, as, a, as a radar ground interpretation. So I'm going to go ahead and we're getting into the, the front range here, so I'm going to go ahead and swing more to the south. So I'm, uh, I can track I-25 uh, here. I'm actually over I-25 and I'm going to say we're coming on the Motor City Curve there. now. Baby traps Golf Sierra Kilo, wind 302 at 8. Clear to land runway 35 right. Clear to land runway 35 right, Beechcraft Golf Sierra Kilo. Big Johnson Reservoir there. So we're gonna um, we're gonna go out a little bit south. And I'm gonna start making my turn in. Go ahead and land lower landing gear. That'll create drag and reduce our um, airspeed a little bit. We're still descending. Yeah, I'm at a pretty good rate. I probably don't want to descend too fast. Oof. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's asking a lot. We'll see. Nah, I'm too. That was a terrible approach. So this is uh, I-25 going south towards Pueblo, it looks like. Let's go ahead and let's get turned around here. I'm going to use rudder in all our air control surfaces here. So we don't stall on turn, we're going to keep our throttle up a bit. Anytime you basically you call it standing up your wings. So anytime you bank, you want to make sure you're you've got enough airspeed. You're not bleeding off airspeed in your turn, because that can create a, a stall situation, and you don't want that. Basically, a stall is going to be instead of flying, you're dropping. what we can do with this. We're basically diving towards the runway. We've got enough length that we can probably fl like flare out. Sierra Kilo. That 
That was not an ideal landing situation for sure. But we're going to be able to taxi in where I'm needing to go to from according to the, the ground map, so... actually to taxiing onto the military base so I'm gonna park at uh, Peterson Air Force Base I guess <laughs> we'll see the Air Force does use Beechcraft for like officer flights and things taxi all the way back kind of gather our thoughts on that flight and see yeah you just you just don't do that <laughs> you don't want to come in that I mean in an emergency situation you might have to like do an approach like that but not nah. go around to you get shallow that out that was paying attention to my altitude you don't come in screaming Screaming like a comet. <laughs> Meteor. And again, the only reason I made the attempt was knowing that the was going to be long enough. They're definitely gonna give me a citation if I if this was real life I'd be on a runway right now taxi in a runway which is bad This video because it's it's okay.
Oh yeah, I forget this plane has got the windshield wipers, that's what I'm seeing in front of me. Since I can't see where I'm going, I'm gonna... I guess I could've used that screen underneath me. Let's see. I'm gonna call this good, because I can't see anything. I don't know the shutdown procedures. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, end the game here. But um, yeah, it was a good flight. It was okay. It wasn't perfect or experienced by any means, but uh, it was fun. So uh, thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of my uh, flights that I'll be posting in the next few days. And uh, thank you for watching. You guys have a great night. Talk to you later. Bye.